Hey gems, I hope everyone is doing and feeling well. Today is April 1st. Ah, so happy April Fools to everyone who, uh, you know, who's going to be out there pulling pranks on people today. So y'all make sure y'all don't get caught up in these pranks that are going to be going on today, okay? Remember that today is April 1st, okay? And it is a pro 1027, okay? So, um... The other day, I did a reading, and I was saying something about a fight, but I said somebody was going to get jumped, okay? And that's not what the card said at all. It said um, fist fight and throwing hands, okay? But for some reason, I said jumped in that, um, when I picked up the card, I said jumped, okay? Somebody was going to be jumped. So, um, first of all, I've already prayed. I've already sage. I have some cards here. However, I have not... Um, you know, shuffle to let any fall out. I'm going to do that with you all Why I am explaining this dream I had. Okay, so I had a dream last night and it was me and two other family members. Okay, we all females. Okay, and we had traveled to visit another female family member. Um, she's like a matriarch. Okay, she's an older woman. She's older than me. Okay, so we got to her house. And I don't know if it was like a holiday or was something going on, but it was her and her husband there. Um, but it was something shady about her husband. This was not the actual husband who she is with that I know this person of mine to be with. He was brown skin, tall, had like a a fade, but he was wanting me to do something. But it was like more so like he wanted me to do all the work. And it was like he wasn't more so asking me he was like in a you know demanding like i do this you know so i'm like you know looking crazy but I, okay I, I went ahead and did it right so then it turned into a scene where um i don't know something went wrong something went wrong and I, we were getting ready to leave and as we were getting ready to leave, the aunt said something to me and I had to go and get this sister all the way together. She was sitting down at her, um, it was like a little beauty station. She was sitting down and when I went to approach her, this was not the person that I know. Like this was a whole total different person. She was high yellow. Okay. In color, black hair, which the person I'm talking about, she's really high yellow with black hair as well. But then she, it was something about her face. She had this mask on her face. Like her nose was almost like Penelope nose. The mask that she had on. I don't know if somebody's having some type of surgery done to their face or something like that. But she had a mask on her face. And she looked a little different. Okay. Um, so I just went here and told her about her ass. Basically. You know, I told her how I felt. And um, she got upset. And, I, you know, I got my shit and we was getting ready to go. So that's when she came outside. Came to the door as I was leaving. As we was getting in my vehicle. And she said, come here and apologize to me right now. And I'm like, man, fuck you. I ain't, you know, I ain't got nothing to say to you. And then she's like, well, you're going to get jumped. And she said it like that. So as soon as she said that, she closed her door. I walked outside. I was already outside. I think I walked to my vehicle and I got inside of it. And I was starting up my, starting up my vehicle. And then my door swung open, okay? And it was a man, a brown-skinned, slender man. And he had like... I want to say it was an afro, but it was curly. And he was like, oh, yeah, we finna, we finna do you in or something like that on, along that side, okay? And I'm looking like, what? So he like, we finna, it was him and there's a whole bunch of other people outside my vehicle, um, you know, trying to get at me. So I just put my vehicle in reverse and I hightailed it out of there, okay? I, the door opened, him swinging and everything else, okay? So y'all be careful, Um because somebody could definitely be trying to set you up while you're outside to get jumped, okay? And like I said, it was not like it was women that was trying to, and the protective card fell out when I said that. But it was not like it was a bunch of women trying to fight me. These were men trying to fight me. And not only that, I was trying to get out of that state because I, I traveled to a different state. And it was like, I couldn't even get out of that state. Like somebody is trying to stop you from traveling. Someone is trying to get you stuck, um somewhere that you really aren't supposed to be, okay? So be careful, um with that for me to just say somebody trying to jump you and that reading i don't even know if i posted it yet and for me to have that dream okay <clears throat> um so that is definitely significant somebody could definitely be trying to get someone jumped okay um it seems like you're trying to seems like you standing up for yourself okay and this person may not be used to you standing up for yourself okay and whatever it is that you said this could be a woman okay it was a woman and man in a dream um 
and she wanted me to apologize. Like I said, I ain't apologizing to you because I ain't, you, what, you, who you, you playing with me. Don't play with me like that. Don't play with me like that. If you a matriarch or whoever, I don't give a damn. Don't play with me like that. I'm grown. You don't have no right to speak to me like that. You have no right to treat me like that. So I stood up to her and like I said, we was leaving. And then like, um, I couldn't get out of the city. They was trying to hold me hostage in that damn city. Like they was trying to hold me hostage. I was trying to, you know, go back, get on the road, but I couldn't. So Somebody definitely trying to stop y'all from moving forward, okay? Somebody definitely be trying to get you harmed by, you know, a way of, you know, gathering some people to jump y'all. Okay, whoever this message is for. So just be paying attention to your surroundings. And I keep saying this, y'all. Make sure y'all have y'all some protection on y'all at any given time. If you feel threatened, if your life feel in danger, you know, do what you got to do to protect you and yours, okay? At all given times. Okay, so let me shuffle this, these cards a little more. And we're going to jump into the reading. See what else falls out. Okay. I got one more stack to go through to gather these cards from. And then I'm gonna jump into the reading. <clears throat> yeah, guys. So um somebody definitely does not like that you're standing up to them, okay? They, they don't like that shit, and they may try to get you harmed again. I just wanna reiterate that. Oh, and it was something about some some pills okay some of y'all be, might be taking some type of pill um it's not supposed to be something harmful it's supposed to be something that just helps you regulate on the regular however i was hearing in that dream you need to wing yourself off of it or stop taking it so much because it could you know if you keep taking over long periods of time it could cause some damage where you would have to be codependent on whatever that substance is okay like i said it wasn't not supposed it could have even been something like a some type of natural um, peel okay it could have like a, a lot of natural um ingredients in it but it may have one or two that aren't the healthiest for you okay so y'all be careful with these substance not you know that y'all may be consuming okay because you don't want to you know disrupt something that really is not an issue okay all right i heard one more time i was gonna stop and say one more time okay so i'm gonna shut up one more time up oh, there it goes up oh, there it goes all right, let me gather these cards up. It's quite a bit of energy that fell out. And when I pick my cards up, I just shuffle. I pick them all up, you know, gather them all up, pick them up. And then I go to shuffling. If they upside down, I know they're upside down because I'm just, you know, I ain't really, I don't really be looking at them. I just gather them and pick them up and put them in a deck so I can shuffle them and then I start the reading, okay? Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. So, let's do a quick shuffle of these that fell out, okay? And then we will start with the reading. One more time. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So first card out. So it looks like it's going to be something that is going to be broadcasted um, for a lot of individuals to see. Okay. This can be on the actual TV. This can be on a news channel. Okay. This can be on some type of social media platform, but whatever this news information um, is going to be, it is definitely going to be viewed by a lot of people. Okay. We have news flash here. Okay. Um, so some of y'all are getting ready to come into a period where you will be, you will be very stable and you will have security. Okay. Um, and this can be in any way, shape or form. Okay. Whatever area that you're lacking in now, you are definitely about to have stability and security. Okay. So. I don't know if this was something that would be on the news, okay, unless it's some people that were involved who were trying to stop you um, from being able to have this in your life, okay? And they did some things that were against the law in order to stop you from having this, okay? So if that's the case, these people could be on the news for some criminal acts that they indulged in against you or another individual. This can be taking place in a few weeks, okay? 
a few weeks, it can be two weeks, it can be three weeks, maybe four weeks. Hell, I don't know, but we have weeks here, so something will be taking place in weeks, okay? And then we have here a child's mother, okay? So this can be someone's child's mom who is going to receive this stability and security, okay? Or this can be someone's child's mother who were involved in trying to stop an individual from trying to receive um camera captures amazing lightning strikes on plane okay um and i was picking up something about a plane crash and for that just to pop up so it's something significant about a plane or a lightning okay um yeah so this can be somebody's about a child's mother who was involved in trying to stop you from receiving this security and um stability okay but something is very sweet smelling, okay? Something's going to, I guess this may, this is some type of justice that you're going to receive. This is definitely going to be sweet smelling, okay? Or y'all are just, um, you know, something. It could, be, it could be somebody's cologne, okay? It could be somebody's fragrance that they spray in their home. But something is aromatic here. This is a sweet fragrance here, okay? Something about sweet smells, okay? Yeah, and then we have foot on a mother sucking neck here, Okay? So someone feels like this a foot is on their neck, okay, Jim. Or someone was trying to put their foot on your neck in order to keep you from receiving this stability and security in your life. Okay. But you are being told to be optimistic, okay? You are being told to be optimistic, okay? Because it looks like whatever they're trying to do, now they feel like they're the one being held down, okay? Like they're sinking and they cannot get up, okay? Like somebody definitely have a foot on their damn neck, all right? They maybe feel like they're drowning, all right? So just make sure you stay optimistic, okay, through whatever it is that you're going through. And then we have flow. So somebody was definitely trying to interrupt your flow, okay? Someone did not want you to be able to flow freely, okay? And this can just be with whatever it is that you're supposed to do in your life, okay? Or this can have something to do with some type of water, okay? <clears throat> so we have aromatic and then we have flow here. All right. Somebody definitely wanted to interrupt your flow in life, okay? They want to have you in a stagnation um standpoint in life, okay, where nothing was flowing for you properly. But now it looks like things are about to pick up for you and you will be back in your natural flow, okay? The natural of ebb and flow, all right? Someone could be Caucasian in this um scenario okay you could be caucasian or someone else can be caucasian in this scenario yeah jim you don't have anything to worry about okay if you worried about something please not worry okay um like i said here we have the optimistic card here so you definitely need to be optimistic okay remove those negative thought patterns that are trying to replay themselves okay this can be someone that is projecting these onto you Okay, someone could be feeling like they're, you know, like I said, that they're drowning. However, they want you to feel this way so you can get out of flow of the energy that you need to be in, which is an optimistic energy because you have stability and security on the way to you and you don't have anything to worry about. Baby girl, baby boy, you just need to chill, okay, because you're you going to be okay. Yes, yeah, some of y'all can be having someone who is working um, to help y'all <laughs> transmute this negative energy that's been thrown at you, been spoken over you, or that's been doing something to you. Or y'all can be doing this, okay? Y'all could be doing some type of white magic, okay? To, um, you know, purify your space. And, you know, people, this is just, you know, speaking words, writing stuff down, you know, using your sage, your palacento, okay? Lighting candles, whatever this may be um, to just lighten your mood. You may be even like, you know, Fragrance is a sense of meditation and it can bring you a lot of tranquility, okay? So maybe y'all are definitely, you know, using scents to calm yourselves when you're in your home or in your car, okay? And if not, maybe that's something y'all want to incorporate because it does soothe the soul, the mind, the heart, the body, okay? <clears throat> All right? So yeah, Jim, either you're gaining respect or people are losing respect for another individual, okay? Because we have the respect card here. These people did not want you to be respected, Jim, but I really feel like you are about to gain respect. Like people are not gain, you are already maybe receiving respect. However, you may not be physically seeing that at this moment, but I do feel like it's people that hold a lot of respect for you, which is what these people did not want you to have was respect, okay? 
And then we have here sent by, they are sent in by the enemy. So y'all do have someone <clears throat> who's going to come in for whatever reasons, okay? And try to finesse something out of you, okay? This can be, because you always know before the actual good tithing comes in, the devil got to send his minion in to try to test you, okay? And this is where you're going to definitely have to tap into your ability to abilities to be able to sense, okay, to be able to feel a person out what their real true motives is, okay? Because someone is definitely being sent by an enemy to try to cause you some type of disruption, all right? But I know that y'all are going to be able to pick up on that because my gems are very intuitive, okay? Y'all trust what y'all feel, all right? Fuck what a bitch telling you. Trust what you feel, baby boy, baby girl, because your gut, your nervous system is going to tell you everything you need. Okay, and then we have an oracle here. So someone could be an oracle, okay, or this could be someone who is helping you all um, do some type of cleansing work for you with this white magic, okay? Or this message can be for an oracle. But someone gets damn messages from the other side, okay? And this can be the person who is helping y'all, <clears throat> you know, figure out some things that um, are going on that you probably had a suspicion about, but you were not... Um, you know, you weren't sure you wasn't sure. So maybe this person is helping y'all uncover some things. Okay. And again, guys, I just want to say this, just know when I say this, I'm not speaking about myself. Okay. Yes, I get messages, but it's a lot of motherfuckers who get messages just like me. Okay. So I know where in shape or form, put myself in this engine, and be like, Oh, this is for me. This is for me. No, I do not. Because there's a lot of great, um, spiritualists out here. Okay. So this could be for anyone. Okay. So then it says the devils who harmed you want you to have sympathy for them. So again, y'all are definitely going to have to use your discernment because somebody's going to try to come play on your motherfucking emotion. Somebody going to try to play on your mental stability. They're going to pull on a heartstring. Okay. They're going to come in and pull on a show, um, you know, apologize and probably even tears flying and it's not falling. Okay. Or is it tears falling? It's not flying. However it is. Okay. However, the only reason these people or persons are wanting you to have sympathy for them because we have here what? News flash. News motherfucking flash. Because they know some shit that they did is going to cause them to be out. It's going to be seen by a very a large variety of people who are going to know who these people truly are, okay? And these people can even be sent in by the enemy. This can even be somebody sending somebody in to try to talk to you. You know, try to, you know, smooth, smooth things over with you and another individual. However, you ain't to have no damn sympathy for these motherfuckers. I mean, not to saying that you got to be, you know, being all hateful and stuff like that. Because that only blocks your flow. You know what I'm saying? Like, just know that whatever they've done, they will pay for it. Okay. But don't you sit here worrying yourself about when it's going to happen and how it's going to happen. Okay. Just know that it will. Okay. In due time. All right. Yeah. And it says your ancestors have them blocked from your energy. Again, like I just told you, somebody, you have somebody out here doing white magic on you. White magic for you, okay? And even on you, and this is covering you. You can be doing this yourself. Your ancestors could be doing this. Your ancestors are covering you. And we hear it say, your ancestors have them blocked from your energy. So whatever they're trying to project on you, it's not working. It is not working. All right? Because you are definitely protected here. That's why you ain't got shit to worry about. I just told you, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Stay optimistic. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Get out of your head. And just know that you are definitely protected, okay? So just stay coherent out here, okay? Stay coherent. Stay, you know, using your logic, okay? Stay thinking clearly, okay? Or someone is, you know, seeing something. They're seeing the truth about something, okay? Sorry, guys, my phone wrong. But, yes, yeah, something could be taking place in the morning time, okay? Somebody could be trying to come to you in the morning time, all right? This can be somebody who's coming in to try to have, you know, have a conversation with you to try to have you um, have some type of sympathy for them or someone else, okay? But something is going to take place in the morning time, okay? And this is like, you know, 6 in the morning till, shit, um, 11 a.m., okay? Yeah, somebody envies you. Like somebody is seeing things clearly now that somebody really 
was jealous for whatever reason and why ever they committed these acts against you, okay, why they were trying to stop your flow in life, it all stems from envy, okay? These people did not like whatever it is that you do, however it is that you're seen. They wanted to interrupt that, okay? They didn't like that people held you in high regard. So it seems like they tried to do something to try to have people's mind um, swayed about you in a negative way. They didn't want people to hold respect for you, okay? <laughs> Boy, that envy card. And we got that. I told y'all when I was shipping the cards, I seen the protected card fell out. Just know that you are protected from this envy, okay? You are definitely protected, not only in the spiritual realm, but also in the physical, okay? We have the protected car here. Just know that you are protected from these envious individuals, okay? The problem is not with you, Jim. It is with them, okay? It is what they feel on the inside, okay? That they project onto you. It's a lack that they feel, okay? Or it can just be a motherfucking arrogance. Like, you know, they just feel like they are better than you. But again, I have to question that because if you feel like you're better than someone, you would not have to make up, you know these hideous lies in order to have someone viewed in a certain way, okay? If you were truly better than that individual, you wouldn't have to do shit, but show up and be yourself and people would see like, yeah, okay, I see, I see. But for these people to have to go so low, it lets me know that they know that they're not better than you. Or so they feel in themselves that they lack something that you possess that they do not. So that's why they wanted to sway other people's opinion of you, okay? Yeah, so somebody could be deleting text messages and fake pages, okay? They trying to delete, um, you know, the evidence of whatever it is that they done. Because, like I said, newsflash, newsflash. Like, these people know it is some incriminating evidence of what these individuals have done to you. And they use social media to harass you and make up other lies, make up lies about you, okay? Impersonating you, okay? Defamating your character, they did not only harass you online, but they also was harassing you physically, okay? Now they're trying to delete these things, okay? However, it says here, um, it won't work because the IP Addis has already been found, okay? So, yeah, so somebody can exhale, okay? Baby, just go on to breathe and let it out, okay? Are you going to be able to... You know, because even though, even though I'm telling y'all, you know, be easy, don't worry too much. I know it's still kind of hard when you're not physically seeing the fruits of your labor, okay? However, you will be able to exhale because whatever is meant to, for you, you will receive that, okay? You will definitely receive that, all right? This can be a masculine energy, okay? We have a child's mother, so you can be the child's mother of this masculine energy, okay? Or this can be a masculine energy that was coming for you, okay? And I told y'all, it was men in that dream that was coming for me. It was when I walked outside, it was a group of females outside, but they weren't trying, they was they was they weren't trying to harm. It was like what? It, was, it was like three or four females that was outside. But those that were trying to harm me were men, okay? Um, so yeah, a masculine energy is significant here. We have someone who is Caucasian. We have a masculine energy and then we have a child's mother. Okay. And then we have success. Yeah. These people wanted to block your success, baby. They wanted to, they did not want you to be looked at as successful. They did not want you to be successful, Jim, because whoever you are, wherever you were already, you had your foot on these people's necks, okay? And they couldn't stand to see you get what you rightfully deserve, Jim. Because you are a genuine person, okay? And I say this out here because why else would you have people out here protecting you? Your ancestors are protecting you, okay? Why else would they try to start all this stuff? Why would they have to make up all these fake pages and create? Not only were they making up fake pages, they were sending text messages back and forth. So it looks like these people had, you know, it was probably had some type of um, pictures or some type of images of you. And they were sending it back and forth to people through text messages. Okay. 
But they just wanted you to, they didn't want you to be successful because they was already envious of you. So you to get a little success too. Oh my God, that was going to kill them inside. You hear me? So somebody definitely is stressed out at this moment. This can be even be these people because they know that whatever they did is going to land their ass on the news. Okay. Because now we have de-stress. So somebody is definitely stressed the fuck out. They may not even be able to exhale. Because whatever this bullshit is that they indulged in, it has definitely came back to bite them in the ass. Okay. And they are stressed the fuck out. Rightfully so. Rightfully so. Okay. So yeah, these people, these people were around here spreading lies and saying that you have a STD gym. Okay. And if it was a lie, I mean, I mean, they're telling untruths about you. Okay. They were spreading untruths about you because they wanted to ruin how people see you. Oh my goodness. They were telling people that you had an STD in order to get people to not approach you, to not want to befriend you, okay, to, to discredit you because they did not, oh, excuse me, it's just belched, okay, because they did not want people to befriend you. They wanted you to be looked at as less than or undeserving and not saying that someone who has a STD is undeserving or, you know, does not deserve respect because no. It's a lot of people who have contracted these diseases by individuals who intentionally and knowingly did these things to people because they are just sick individuals, very demonic souls, lost, angry souls, because they feel like somebody did it to them. They're going to do it to you. If I got to suffer, you got to suffer too, guys. And this is why I tell y'all don't take people for face value. Don't take people what they fucking words is. Always protect yourself. Okay. And it's okay to be like, well, listen, I really want to go, you know, and get some, some paperwork on us before we, you know, take it there. Okay. Cause everybody is not truthful. Okay. This is a very evil world out here. A lot of, it's a lot of very evil, nasty individuals. However, it is definitely some angelic souls out here as well. Okay. But we all know those demons are not coming with pitchforks. And cruelty, they're coming with smiles, okay? They're going to do, you know, loving words, you know, so endearing at first until they feel like they got you. Then they're going to bite you like a snake, okay? So someone was definitely telling people that you had some type of STD, which is not true. Yeah, somebody is now suffering in silence at this moment. Somebody is going through something, okay? And they are not <clears throat> able to handle whatever this shit is that they put out, Okay? And then we have an Aries here. Hmm. I know a few Aries. Okay. We got a Caucasian person out here. We got a masculine out here. Okay. So this is the first zodiac sign to come out, which is an Aries. Huh. Hmm. <clears throat> Anywho. Um. So. Again, somebody's definitely going to come in and they're going to try to, whew, they're going to come in and try to, you know, have, want you to have sympathy for them. But you are being told to lead these people in the damn past, okay? Lead their ass in the past. If people, we can go around here and spread these nasties, untruths about an individual, okay? And do things to try to get you harmed out of greed and jealousy, you don't need that type of energy in your life. If your ancestors had to step in and protect you and other people that knowing the truth is sin truth and protecting you from this spell work these motherfuckers doing it, you do not need these people in your life. Leave them in the past, okay? And then we have parents here. So someone's parents can be involved in this, okay? Someone's parents could have been sp spreading these nasty untruths about an individual. But it's something about someone's parents, okay? Someone's parents can be Aries. You can be an Aries. Shit, I don't know. These parents can be Caucasian or not, okay? And we have surveillance here. So somebody is definitely watching another individual. Somebody is definitely watching. This is so fucking funny. Woo, child. Somebody is definitely watching another individual, okay? Um... Y'all have people that are watching y'all every move because they're trying to block and stop whatever it is that's coming in for you. Okay? 
They do not want you to receive what is rightfully yours, okay? Because these motherfuckers been around here lying, trying to keep you from receiving what is rightfully yours. So they are definitely watching you, trying to see who approaches you, when something is coming in for you, okay? And then we have addicts, okay? Somebody is addicted to something. Someone has some addictions, okay? This can be addictions to anything. They could have been saying that your ass was addicted to drugs. Child, don't put shit past and there's some information. So definitely, y'all are definitely receiving some type of information. Some information is coming in at this moment, okay? And these people are probably stalking you trying to see when this information coming in because they probably got some type of plan um, to try to stop this or take something from you. But I promise you these motherfuckers are going to regret whatever it is that they do or try to do because they ain't going to be able to do it. They ain't going to be able to do it. Yeah, these people can be in a dark occult, okay? So these people can be definitely be, be a part of a dark occult, okay? These people are evil as fuck, okay? Yeah, we're trying to stop you. This can even be people that's in a church, okay? Because I was just hearing that. These people get involved in some type of church, all right? This is why your ancestors have them blocked from your energy, okay? This is why you have other people out here that your ancestors may be alerting to help you with blocking these people from your energy. And that's where you don't have shit to worry about because whatever these motherfuckers doing is not going to work. Damn, again, it says you will not be left out in the cold, okay? So these people definitely wanted you to be left out in the cold, okay? They wanted you to be homeless. They didn't want you... um, a lot of y'all know there was people in your town, your city, who were all in cahoots with this. Some of y'all probably could, have, could not have found jobs, okay, because your phone was blocked. Um, when you applied for a job, you were not able to, um, you weren't receiving any communication back from these people because your emails were taken over. Or they just, would, you know, like I said, they watch you everywhere you go. So even if you went to a place to you know get a job after you left they went in and told some lies or said something about you in order to or even pay these people off to, to stop you from being able to work because they wanted to make you look unfit okay they told nasty true untruths about you okay and then we have here winter so something could have taken place in the winter or something could take place in the winter but we have winter here or something about something just being cold and things are falling away. Things are dying, okay? We have the winter here. Someone can stay in this, um, somewhere where it's cold, okay? A colder climate. And then we have balance, okay? So, yes, you're, this information, whatever this shit is, you're gonna bring, it's going to bring you some type of balance. Cause like, we, like we say here, you will not be left out in the cold, okay? And then we have winter right after that, okay? <laughs> so, these people definitely watered your ass out in the cold, <laughs> They wanted your ass homeless out in the cold, baby, on the streets. And now these motherfuckers scared shitless, okay? They scared as fuck right now because, like I said, newsflash. So they, I'm trying to tell you, they watching you. These motherfuckers suffering in silence because they trying to make a move. But I'm telling you, these the moves that they making ain't going to work. Because not only are they watching you, but somebody watching their ass, okay? They being watched. Cause some of y'all come from a royal bloodline, okay? And on the top of the deck, we have... Begging and pleading for forgiveness, but it's falling on deaf ears. So, and then we have fraud on the other day. So these people could have committed fraud in your name, and we know that's just been coming up in a lot of these readings. Okay, so this could have been going on for years. Okay, these people could have tried to block you off and held holding up what was rightfully yours for years. Okay, and or they got and somebody could be younger. Okay, you can be younger, or someone else could be younger, or somebody. Okay. These people have been blocking you off and holding you back from getting what's yours for years, okay? Or these people got years of information on these motherfuckers, which is why they going to goddamn prison. Because you ain't going to be on the news unless you finna get some type of charges, okay? Ooh. Yeah, unrequited. Okay, just feel like, what is this? Hold on, Jealous. So we have unrequited, okay? So this love... This, this apology, this sympathy, these people don't have no motherfucking love for you. They don't care nothing about you, okay? 
These people are suffering in silence because the other card has says is and will continue to destroy everything they love for targeting you. So <laughs> I'm telling you, shit is being dismantled at this moment. That's why these motherfuckers suffering in silence. That's why they can't, they need to de-stress and exhale, but they can't. They can't because they know they don't fucked up. They know they don't met, they don't monked up, okay? And that's so strange. The only sign that came out was the Aries. Okay, what was this? Somebody could be Puerto Rican or Mexican. Okay. But these can be the people that you know they're trying to send in and something about a child. We have someone younger, and do we have a child? Somebody, if y'all have, we have a child's mother. Somebody can even be trying to do something to somebody's child, okay? Or a child could be involved in this situation in some way, shape, or form. Or you can find out that you're somebody's, okay, we have a star here. So your child can be a star, okay? Or you are the child, and you are a star. We do have royal here. So maybe you are the child of a star, Maybe you are the child of someone that is royal, that was a star, okay? And this is what they were trying to keep you from, this information, okay? Because we did have parents out here. Yeah, something is resurgent. It's resurgent. So something's coming back up from the past. Yeah. And this could be definitely what these people were trying to keep you from. These people were trying to keep you hidden from who you truly were so you would not get what is rightfully yours. Okay? And then we have something that's deep, child. Yeah, when you find out this information that's coming in, we do have say information. Whatever this shit is that's coming to you, you're going to have your... And then we have coherent here. You're going to be in deep thought, man. You're going to be in deep fucking thought. Whoever these people say they live at a distance from you. They live at a distance from you. And then I just tell you in that dream, I was traveling a couple states over to get to this woman's house. This matriarch in my family. And then we have a brother here. So it's something significant about a brother. This could be your brother or somebody else's brother. It was somebody was it was something about some imagination. Somebody was definitely, if they thought, you know, they can keep you from getting what was rightfully yours or they think they're gonna harm you, they definitely got them imagining this shit, because it ain't gonna happen, baby. It ain't gonna happen, Captain. It will not happen. Okay. And then it says, yeah, they they coming in to try to be a kiss up, okay? They want to come in because they don't want to face the consequences of their actions. They're going to try to kiss your ass and, you know, say all this right things to you. But this shit is a facade. Okay. These people is unrequited fucking love. They are envious of you. They can't love you because they're jealous of you. They cannot be happy for you because they're jealous of you. Okay. And then we have older. So this can be an older person that's coming in. And I just said matriarch. Okay. Yeah, like I always tell y'all, jealousy envy has no face, baby. It has no race. It has no gender. It has no age. It has no fucking tax bracket. Uh uh. It has none of that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Being stripped of everything that made them feel they were better than you. Retrograde shit is coming back up from the past to bring balance. So, yeah. All this shit. They're not saying research is coming. This shit come Everything. Listen. <laughs> it's coming back up it's coming back up and they you know they everything that they stole from you everything that they tried to stop you from having if they didn't want you to have a home if they didn't want you to have happiness if they didn't want you to have good health if they didn't want you to have love if they didn't want you to have respect if they didn't want you to have a vehicle if they didn't want you to have money baby they being stripped of all that shit and if these are people in positions of power they being stripped of their motherfucking um authority too that they abused and it says Communication coming in from the courts or a lawyer, okay? And this is good news. And whatever this shit is, protect it. This is why people probably... I, I told you some information coming to you, and these people are watching you because they're trying to stop and block this shit, okay? Then it says, they were working against you. Now they are helping you. They were trying to help you out. So you have some people who were... um. So this could be some people in the courthouse that, you know, for whatever reasons, were on the other side. But for whatever reason, they may be seeing things clearly now, and they may be trying to help you, Okay? Some of y'all need to get out in Mother Nature, okay? Some of y'all are spending too much time in the house around the electronics, okay? You you have too much, um, <clears throat> you, you're around too much uh, energetic uh, energy, okay? You need to get outside, electricity. You need to get outside and, and get in nature. Somebody said you remind or whatever, something is theirs. They're trying to keep something that belongs to you, okay? They said it's theirs, but it ain't fucking theirs, okay? It's yours, and you're going to get it back. You're going to get that back. And then we have sagaciousness. So it's something about your, whoever y'all, y'all smart as fuck. Have you very wise. You're a wise individual, okay? 
someone sees you as such. And this can even be the people that's in the courts that are seeing this. That will want working against you because, you know, I don't know. Shit, they could even be paid off or something. I don't know. And then we have here months, okay? So maybe they have been watching you for months, gathering information about you for months. But something, we got weeks out here. We got years. We got months. They could have been watching these people for Okay, then we have, yeah, somebody was painting a motherfucking mirage. They sat back and watched these people lie to them for months, okay? And months can turn into damn years, okay? But whatever it is, people was painting a mirage. Do we have hundred thousands? Hold on. It's just them. So we have hundreds of thousands of dollars. This could be what these people have stole from you. This can be what these people have um, paid out to have these people, you know, go against you or whatever. But, Gems, you owe more than $100,000, whoever you are. You can be a Pisces because Pisces just fell out. Okay? Pisces just fell out. <clears throat> or these people can be Pisces. And then we got red flag and platonic on top of... Ooh, so career. It's something about your career, okay? Somebody may be coming to offer you a contract... And it may be for hundreds of thousands of dollars, okay? But make sure y'all are looking over and don't be too eager to sign a motherfucking thing because it could be some type of mirage. And people can be getting you sign, getting you to sign a contract and you'll be owing their ass some damn money. Or they'll be in control of all your work, whatever it is that you do. And we know you ain't having that. So flight, somebody's taking a flight. Somebody's booking a flight to go somewhere. Somebody's traveling. This can be somebody coming towards you, okay? Or this can be you. We have a foreigner here. So this foreigner could be taking a flight to come to you. This person could be trying to offer you some type of position. Okay, we have a couple more seconds. If nothing else comes out, what was this? Somebody could be passing away. You can get some information about somebody that passed away. Okay, and left you some money. And this could be hundreds of thousands of dollars. All right, gents. But until next time, love you all later.